Peace. What up? This is Jimmy the Green Giant here with Posse TV. We out here, SOBs, Manhattan, Torre, Marco Polo event. Check it out. This is Marco Polo. It's your boy Torre, Coney Allen's finest, and you checking out Posse TV. It's about to be a movie out here, right? So we're here with the Seymour Sorbet. I'm with my Posse right now. You know the vibes, Midnight Run. We in the spot, Torre and Marco Polo, celebrating the release of our new album, Midnight Run. I'd be lying to say there was a concept. I think we just make music we wanted to hear as fans of hip hop. That's what we've always done, and we stuck to that script uh, with a little bit of an updated sound from the first album. So there's no concept, there's just hard beats, hard rhymes. Energy. I just make the best beats I can, and when I make a beat, I will try and kind of visualize what artist will sound the best. Um, there's certain beats that I won't send to certain MCs. There's a certain stash that Torre gets because of his energy and the way he rhymes. So he gets the more aggressive, up tempo beats. Definitely, that's been part of our sound. So, uh, a, a good way to describe our sound is energy, really. Head nod, New York, Brooklyn, Coney Island, a little bit of Toronto. There we go. Man, Marco and I met a number of years ago just on some hip hop shit in passing. Shout out to Emilio Rojas, who really connected us the first time. But after we went on tour together, um, definitely big shout out to Master Ace and EMC. After we toured together, a real brotherhood was formed deeper than a friendship. And the crazy shit was we was on the road together for like 30 plus dates, and we didn't have any music together. So we were like, yo, when we come back, it don't make no sense for us to tour together and travel together and not have music together. And that's how the first album, Double Barrel, was created. Uh, so we did Double Barrel and 09 shout out to the whole duck down music duck down records that's what we signed for that particular album uh definitely big shout out to the whole boot camp click rest in power to sean price and one time for the rest of the squad i had nothing to do with the glorious scratch hook shouts to shy the beat yoda who did most of the scratches on the album minus rap shit which was revolution we've always if you listen to our first album incorporate the djs and doing scratch hooks that's a big part of the foundation of the culture and we love scratch hooks, so shouts to Shy the Beat Yoda who did the hook on the return. I'm gonna be honest, one of the things I like about this album is there's no rapping features. We have DJs on scratch hooks and we have the legendary Drez from Black Sheep talking shit on Grey Sheep, which is an honor to have him there. But besides that, it's just really me and Tor. So funny enough on social media, somebody was like, you guys should do like a remix version and do some features. And I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe get a couple features and do like a deluxe or, you know what I mean? Throw out a little EP with maybe four joints with some features. Yeah, that might that might be all right. Shout out to Twitter for that one or X or whatever, but not triple X. That's a whole different thing. Well, if we're talking sampling, for me, sampling is an integral part of the music, of hip hop music. It's part of our culture, but it's also something that needs to be done legally. So there's so many tools now where you can actually sample and clear it. So check out tracklib.com and just be a little smarter with how you use music because once you put it out there, if you're not clear on your samples, you're very limited in what you can do past just putting it out. Having cleared samples allows you to make more money. That's what I wish young Marco knew is a bit more business, but now I'm on top of it. So, you know, young Marco should have been a bit more business savvy. Uh, words of wisdom for young artists. UPS is high. No, that's terrible. Um, nah, man, listen. Be prepared to do this shit and not make a dime. And if you and if you can wake up every day and still go 110% knowing that you might not make a dollar from it for a really long time, then it's something that's for you. Uh, follow your heart. Follow your passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, really, really love this shit and don't be in it just for the quick buck or for the look. If you really love this shit, everything that you're looking for will come along with it. But you got to be, you know, you got to be dead, so dead solid set on it and make it happen. Oh, man. Should I do a bunch of things? So I have two radio shows on Sirius XM, Hip Hop Nation and LL Cool J's Rock the Bells Radio. There's also a podcast with my brother Bezo, Bezo Bonsu Thompson. That's called Hard to Earn. Uh, songwriting, hosting, acting. You know, I do a little bit of everything. We get to the bag. I haven't blessed, man. I've been nominated for two Juno Awards in Canada, which is the equivalent of two Grammys. I've won a Polish Grammy in Poland for an album I did with OSTR. I scored the Brooklyn Nets theme song. I've toured the world, um, made acclaimed albums with, with a few people, including, you know, Torre, Master Ace. So I don't know. My biggest success is doing what I love every day and getting paid for it. So whether it's a million dollars or 10, I don't have to get a nine to five. That's success for me is that's what it is. This is on uh, Spaghetti Bender Music, which is Marco's company, Internal Affairs Entertainment, which is my company. Uh, 
Soul Spasm. Can I get the answers out, God? <laughs> Shout out to Jim who did distro on Soul Spasm. Um, you know, Marco and I spend a lot of time in this business working with various labels and companies, and we've learned a lot, and we like to implement our business acumen and creating our projects and making sure that we own the, the, the piece of the music that we put out, we have ownership on. So, you know, shout out to Jim and Soul Spasm on the distro, and definitely big shout out to Marco for signing me to Spaghetti Bender. I signed him to Internal Affairs. It's all love. I want to say I'm proud of these guys with this new project, Midnight Run. Let's make some noise for them. We all came out here today to celebrate hip hop. We all came out here to celebrate one of the greatest producers to produce in this culture and one of the most some solid MCs to ever pick up a mic. I want y'all to make some noise, SOBs. Give it up for the one. This ain't the band or the trap, this the block That sounded like a kick in the stand That was a Don't think this TV and radio got me going pop Cause I still back out and aiming at your knock I'm aiming at your spot if you're working to your head at the top And I'm aiming at your side if you give up the box I give you the locks, not feel to give you the rock Rockin' Tim Soul Fees and I give you the rock Both town for the time that I drop Rip shit from Russia to Rome with rhymes I'm right on the spot Shit remind me of rockers and rock Hold on, hold on. New York City makes some noise for my brother Sean Price. TV was good. It's Sean Price. No, that's not loud enough. I said, make some noise for my brother Sean Price. Nothing's wrong, clapping at it, y'all haters. CEO of your label is a basketball player. That nigga shit is never coming out. out. Sean Price, I'm putting up with coming out. Sean Price. Brooklyn was good. Queens was good. Staten Island was good. Manhattan, Uptown Harlem was good. Detroit was good. I'm here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.